Good morning. Good morning. My name is Phil Smith. Can you tell me your full name, please? My name is Sausan Hassan. Thank you. And can you tell me where you're from? I'm from Syria. Can I see your identification, yes, please? Yes, sure. Thank you, that's fine. Now, in this first part, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Let's talk about what you do. Do you work or are you a student? I'm a student. And what subject are you studying? English literature. Why did you choose this subject? Well, I like literature very much and uh, English is international language, so English literature is one of the best majors I've ever studied, so I like it very much. What do you hope to do when you finish your studies? Well, I'm planning to complete my higher studies. I'll be doing an MA and eventually I'll be doing a PhD to be a professor in English literature. Now let's talk about weekends. What do you usually do at the weekend? Well, usually I go to visit my relatives or even friends, but sometimes I stay at home just for uh, if I have exams or something to study, so I just keep stay at home. But, um, but most of my time actually I spend it with my friends going out for, uh, to drink something or to have fun, enjoy, enjoy it. What do you think you'll do next weekend? Well, next weekend I have to go to, uh, to a trip to York and I'm so excited about it. Yeah. yeah why? Well, um, because I've heard that York, there's, uh, it's a very ancient uh, city, so, and the Vikings were there, and I'm, I like the ancient things, and I like history. Do you enjoy your weekends now more than you did when you were a child? Well, not really. When I was a child, I just spent all my weekends playing, and, but now I have lots of concerns. Sometimes I have to stay at home to study, so... No, when I was a child, I, was, I enjoyed it most. How important is it for you to relax at the end of the week? Well, it is very important because you just relax out of the whole week because you were studying or working. So you need uh, peace and uh, relax and, uh, and sometimes to take uh, a great uh, time of sleeping just to uh, pre prepare yourself for the next week. Let's talk about music. What sort of music do you usually enjoy listening to? Well, I'm, I like music very much because I'm a singer myself. I like to sing, so I have a great taste of music. I like the classical, I like to the Arabic music. And uh, so music is very important. It's, uh, I, I, I have to listen to music uh, all the day. Has the kind of music you like changed over the years? Well, yes, yes, it, it changed because, um, you know, uh, uh, I used to listen to the uh, almost, um, I mean, it's not a slow music. Uh, and uh, nowadays it's just uh, in the fast, fa very fast and sometimes techno and I don't like this kind of music. I still listen to the, uh, to the music that I liked and I still have the same CDs and uh, all the time I listen. I sometimes listen to this music, the new music, but I don't like it. I just like to listen to the, to the music that I liked when I was a child. Do you prefer listening to live music or recorded music? Well, recorded. I don't like live music because Why? I feel uh, because I feel always the singer is not good in live music. So I feel that recorded is better. Do you think listening to music helps you study? Yes, I always listen to music when I'm studying. Sometimes my friends make fun of me because I'm, I'm not concentrating, but actually it makes me more concentrated. Thank you. Now, I'm going to give you a topic, and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Here's some paper and a pencil for making notes. And here's your topic. And I'd like you to describe a special gift or present you gave to someone. All right. Remember, you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when the time is up. 
Can you start speaking now, please? Okay. Um, the special gift, actually, uh, I gave to my mother, and it was a necklace in her uh, in her the, in the Mother Day. And uh, actually, I've been to different uh, shops to search for what what am I going to give my mother? Because you know, giving uh, giving her anything is just you feel it. It's very simple. Uh, but I was uh, I looked for different shops, and I then decided to take a very uh, lovely uh, necklace, and uh, it wasn't that much expensive because I was. Um, uh, just I had the, the the money for it so and I asked the shop the shop uh, sell, the salesman to uh, to wrap it for me in a very uh, colored papers and I just uh, tried to put the red tie on it and then I try I hide it uh, in my um, I, I didn't tell her about it till the till the party because we we usually make a party for my mother in the mother day, so I didn't tell her about it till the the at, at the party, and when I gave it to her, she was really happy very much and she was almost in tears because she really liked it and she told me no matter how simple it is since you think about giving me anything so that's really great, so I was really happy for for really uh, giving her this uh, this present and she is wearing it every time when she goes out or uh, and she always told her friends about it look what she brought what my daughter brought to me in my in the mother day so I really was proud and, and happy that she really, really like it yeah. and uh, so uh, every time I see I see it uh, she she really um, she, she's really proud of it and uh, do you enjoy giving gifts yes I really enjoy. I like even to take gifts, but uh, I like, uh, yeah, I enjoy giving gifts to my friends or to my the part the the members of my family because um, it's uh, it shows that you are thinking of them and you really care for them. Thank you. Can I have the booklet and the paper and pencil back, please? Yes. We've been talking about a special gift you gave to someone and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. Let's consider first of all giving gifts in families. Um, on what occasions do family members give gifts to each other in Syria? Well, usually they give gifts uh, on birthdays in special occasions like, for example, the Eid in, in, my, in my country and in Christmas time. So, um, and sometimes if anybody was graduated from college or from school and, uh, and somebody is, uh, who is um, get out of a, a hospital and he's now uh, in a very good house, so we usually give them presents and gifts. Do people tend to spend a lot of money on gifts? Uh, sometimes, sometimes, yeah, but um, it depends on the person that you are giving the gifts and it depends on your own uh, financial status. Okay. Let's talk about the type of gifts that children give to adults and their families. What, well, what sort is, of gifts do they this give? This is really interesting because the children always tend to to think from their own view uh, that the the uh, for example if a, t a small child is going to give his father or, uh, or mother a gift he's going to tend to uh, give him a kind of a toy maybe or uh, something that uh, is the father or the mother won't use but because the child think that I like this so I want to give it to my father so they always give it from their point of view that because I like this my father is going to like it so it's really interesting the child uh, it's very simple and uh, and sometimes it's very humble the the, the mm. So what age do children start to choose gifts for their parents? Do you think? Well it depends how the parents uh, brought them up uh, sometimes I think it's it's when they start to recognize uh, the, the 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 real relationships, because when they were before seven or before six uh, years old, they 
tend to not to recognize what do, does it mean to give a gift or to give, uh, and even they don't recognize the relationships. But after seven, I think they start to, to recognize and to feel that I need to give a present to my father or mother as they are giving me and every time I have an occasion. So how important do you think giving gifts is f well, within families? Yeah, it is important because <clears throat> You always uh, give them the feeling that you are really caring uh, for them and you really think of them. Um, and whenever you give them things that they like, you feel that you're really all the time thinking of them. And uh, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, it, it's also tied up the, the, um, the relationships and makes it more strong. Thank you. Right, let's move on from personal gifts to international gifts, if you want, and talk about international aid. Um, what sort of aid do countries give to other countries? Well, sometimes uh, it gives... Um, the, the international aids, when, whenever a country is in need for something and the country cannot afford to, 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 uh, to make it or to bring it, so the, the other uh, countries will help her, for example, in food aids and especially in, di in uh, disasters uh, and, uh, uh, and when uh, something bad happened to this country. So they are going to give it uh, food aids, or sometimes uh, medical aids. Uh, sometimes uh, psychological aids, when, as we do, because I am, uh, I work in the Red Crescent, so I know what it does it mean to give a psychological aids for sometimes for refugees or for even to go for the near countries that in really need. For example, in my country, we go to Iraq or to Lebanon in, in the when when the uh, invasion. And so uh, we help them psychologically to just pass and get over this uh, mm. So what do you think motivates government to give aid to other countries? Well, it is important because I feel that it's, it's, it's let, let us recognize uh, ourselves that at the end we are all human beings and we are living in the same club and it's like a small village and you are, we are the all members of the same uh, or um, the same land so I feel it's it's just really makes the relationships more strong and uh, it gives you uh, it's really feel fe let you feel like uh, your humanity at the end mm. and do you think the aid is always helpful yes I think so because whenever you think of giving aid uh, to other countries I mean it's uh, when they are in need I mean it's it's really helpful thank you very much that is the end of the speaking test. Thank you.